Buenos dias. When I was living in Holland as a musician, I played many gigs and I was pretty happy with that. Yet I felt the need to chase something. I would rarely feel satisfied and if I did feel satisfied, it would only last for a short time. So I found myself in a duality, really. Um, in this thing that I was chasing, which was probably ungraspable, I, I would picture this thing as something idealistic. Okay? And in that time, I thought ideal would be playing music on the beach, in the sunshine, and preferably Spanish culture, you know, that, that's where I need to go. <laughs> so I did, you know. But when I arrived, I also felt very insecure and I had fears about all the things that I didn't know nothing about. Fear of failure, I didn't speak the language, you know. I was very lucky because I made lots of friends very quickly after I arrived. Well, they helped me out with some papers and documents and where to go to, to get work. I use my loop station and other effects and in that way I can perform as a solo artist but projecting a wide sound. So for the Chiringuitos, which are bars on the beach, yeah? um, for the Chiringuitos it's a very affordable way to have music. So one day I was playing and up comes this man he's like, hey I'm Stephen Harris. I have a catamaran. I take clients out for sailing trips. Would you like to play in my boat? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to play in your boat. So I did. And after that trip, we both kind of agreed on that we had to do this the whole summer. We only said goodbye to words. I got a I was stoked to play as much as possible. I was gigging seven days a week, uh, usually twice a day, on the boat and then in the Chiringuito. But I was also dealing with, well, that hyperactive lifestyle, but also with all the impressions I behaved and I felt like a bouncing ball. So usually after I finished my day playing music, I would go to the bar, have a drink, try to unwind which always resulted into dancing or playing with the band. <laughs> so I got to know these musicians that were, you know, playing in bands. And I discovered that Spain is a very loud country. Uh, decibel meters aren't around, I think. Because I was always playing by myself, you know, with a loop station playing with yourself, like... <laughs> so if you have proper musicians that want to play with you, that you can play with, it's the real thing. And I was missing that a lot. So I learned to know these other musicians. This is uh, Danny Gissin. He is a... I think he's a brilliant reggae, African music kind of musician always stoned. <laughs> so whenever I play with him, I need to play bass guitar. And that groove just, you know, so different to, for example, Esther Arenas. This is a Spanish woman who I learned to know, and we, we played together for a year. And she introduced me to the, the, the Spanish passionate fire, flamenco, you know? And also, yeah, pop and jazz. So I learned a lot from her to do with, you know, her perspective and her sounds. Then one day, my neighbor is like, hey, a friend of mine is over. This is Alistair James. He plays guitar and he sings. So we go to the beach and we play a bit and I'm like, dude, this, you've got a voice of an angel, you know? And, and I'm like buzzing, like, oh, I gotta play with this guy. <laughs> So after playing on the beach and some other places, we decided to play this proper concert in the castle, which turned out very nice, but also made me realize that we weren't suitable for each other to approach music on a regular basis in a professional way. It wouldn't work. And when 
I was in the bar again, I would see Angel Arisa again. He was there yesterday, he was there last week, and he's there now. You know, he, he plays in these different bands and acoustic sessions, so it was inevitable that we would encounter and play together. <laughs> so we formed this band, Bad Monkey. And that kind of gave me the ability to put my testosterone in a place. <laughs> You can imagine that when I was talking with my family, I, I was sharing with them a lot of you know adventures and things. And because my brother is a very good bass player, he kind of got interested in like, hey, what, what's my little brother doing? So I persuaded him to fly over to play a concert with me, and uh, we did. We did play in a theater in Alman Yakar. And well, there's nothing like making music with your brother. Great pleasure. I started to realize that this thing that I'm chasing uh, really is worth chasing. So um, I consider these three years as the start of um, my voyage of discovery.